Okay, so here it goes. With a video on what really keeps women single. What really keeps women who seem to have it all by themselves over and over and over again? Well, there was three things that I discovered when I did my dating experiment of going on over a hundred dates in a little over three months and interviewing over 4,000 men, women, and couples. Now, this is what I found. First is that women who are single and successful often operate highly in her masculine energy. Listen, baby, it's nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. I'm not saying that you are wrong. What I am saying is here is guidance on what is actually stopping you from being able to attract your romantic best friend. You are brilliant. And the build bears the man babies, the feminized boys are going to be intimidated by that, but not the real men. The real men are going to appreciate you and they're going to want to build with you. However, when you operate in your masculine energy, you tend to attract the feminized boys, the ones who are going to find you intimidating, the ones who are going to value you, who are going to want to pour into you, the ones who are going to do the work in order to earn you. So you're going to feel even more drained than you already are with them. And that's just going to continue to deplete your estrogen, driving up your cortisol, all driving you into stress and driving you more into your masculine energy so you want to increase your feminine energy and be intentional about choosing men who are in their healthy masculine energy number two you have got to get to the point where you are willing to say i need help because of you being trapped in the prison of perfectionism of feeling like if something that you need help with then that means there's something wrong with you then that is keeping you from getting the right help that can allow you to reach your ultimate love goals because the same effort that it took for you to accomplish your career goals aren't gonna be the same effort that it takes in order for you to attract love. As a matter of fact, it's the opposite. You notice the harder you work at love, then the more it eludes you. However, the same hard work you did with your work, with your career, then it worked then. It doesn't work the same way. What works in the boardroom doesn't work in the bedroom of relationships. So you gotta stop that. And then last but certainly not least are your love blocks. Now, this is not very sexy. I know you don't want to hear this. However, ma'am, your love blocks are blocking you from the love that you want. It's blocking you from a high value man who can love your soul. A love block is any thought, behavior, belief, or energetic block that's trapped in your body, ma'am. So if you are still walking around here feeling like you need to overachieve due to feeling ignored, unworthy, not enough, or because of the violation that happened to you when you was a child, then you will attract at your lowest point of trauma. If you want to fix that, which you should because you're losing a lot of money and time, then attend my Love in 30 Days Challenge, link in the bio.